There is something that, time and time again, I notice being brought up regarding fighting games and the FGC. And essentially, to give the abridged version, on the outside looking in, I think a lot of people have this idea about fighting games where there's this barrier of entry. Like, owning the game system isn't enough. Now you have to be good day one or else you're just screwed. And regardless, that idea, I think, is what festers this sort of fear and hesitation towards getting a fighting game for a lot of people. Like watching Justin Wong, aka The Wassler on MVC, just making people rage quit to the point of actually refunding the game. Like, regardless, I think people see that and go, y yeah, this, this, this shit is why I don't play fighting games. And the thing about the subject is, is personally, I think it might be a little more nuanced and a case-by-case -case basis regarding your experience playing a fighting game. And truth be told, there is a barrier of entry regarding fighting games. And in my experience, that barrier is about as tall as a cage-link fence. And I'm talking like maybe three feet tall. The obvious one is money, of course, and playing on console is not going to help solve that regardless because of memberships needed to play online. Fuck all of you, you'll buy it anyway. But aside from that, to me, the biggest hurdle is the people you are around. Like, that's how I see it. Like, the biggest thing I think prevents people from going out of their way to spend money on the newest fighting game, or one with a lot of players in it, right? is that eventual matchup where you get pitted against some dude who spends all night learning characters and just taking it out on anybody in casual lobbies. Because I think most of these cases are not necessarily people who are going to tournaments, not people who are in rank, not people who are going to EVO and whatnot. But I could be wrong on that, honestly. But in my experience, personally, this it's just been this case for a long time now. And it wraps itself into two questions off the top of my head. The first being, how the hell can I beat that? And the second being, how do I get better at this game? And again, I think it 100% depends on who you surround yourself with in that game. Like, I'm not talking straight up pros or tournament winners and so on. I'm talking about the players who know and have been exactly where you are right now. Case in point, my friend Arashi got Tekken 8 a while back to play with me. Me personally, I'm a long time fan of Tekken, and I've played it since I was a kid. Him, he's never really bothered with this series, so you know what I did in light of that? I sandbagged. He put on simple controls and I just gave him chances to get a feel for what playing like King felt like, playing with Yoshimitsu, Law, and so on. The reason I did this is pretty simple because I like having people I vibe with to play games that I enjoy, and not just get why, but also have them feel why I enjoy them so much. And the last thing someone like that needs, right, is someone like me curb stomping them at the local Denny's parking lot, all right? On the flip side too, me and my friend Code played this game and he's got more experience playing this than Arashi. And this is where I will take the leg wigs off and go to work with that, because He's put the time in the game to where I don't have to hold back like that. Same with me and Ninja on Guilty Gear Strive. I don't hold back. And you know what happens more than often? I lose. I get my ass beat any time by these guys any time I open the games. And you know what? I'm here for it. Because to me, that is a part of the fun of these games and a part of getting good at them. Is going through some rounds, having back and forth, managing until you eat the pavement. Like, if you want to get into these games the way I see it, you try to find people who not only got this game, but are also willing to let you see what's so fun about these games for yourself. And after that, then you start talking about maining characters, practicing and learning inputs, command grabs, so on and so forth. If you, you, after you start getting a feel for the game and whether or not you want to continue playing it or liking it, that is when you start learning the game. That's when you start getting good. And I get the whole, but I don't have any friends. Like, trust me, I get it. I was a fucking outcast and a shut-in for years. If there's anyone who understands the pain of not having anybody to play a game with, oh, it is absolutely me. But this is not necessarily something that you need to have friends to do this with. 
as much as it is something that most of the time this can actually lead to you making friends. Like, how many games nowadays are multiplayer focused and how many games connect you to other people for sessions? Be it competitive or be it against other people casually or even just cooperative based. And especially nowadays, post 2020, meeting people and forming circles online and through games has been some of the best experiences I've had in a long time. But these are just my experiences though, and this is just kind of how I personally see it. If you are someone who is sort of like new or doesn't play fighting games but you want to get started on something, like here are some recommendations to sort of look into for yourself and for people in the FGC, if you got some thoughts on this whole matter and everything, just feel free to let me know. And also, you know, if there are people who are new to fighting games, you know, send them some of your favorite fighting games for them to take a look at themselves sometime. I mean, the obvious big three is Street Fighter, Tekken, and Mortal Kombat. Like, those are pretty big. Like, they've been around for so many years, so many decades. So, yeah, they're, they're the pretty easy ones. But outside of that... I mean, if you're looking for more anime fighters, because those are pretty popular right now, Guilty Gear Strive is an obvious one. It's got crossplay enabled for playing on more than one platform, and between you and me, the mods for the PC version are really good. There's also Melty Blood Type Lumina, probably one of the more easier titles to pick up if you're interested in pulling off like really crazy combos with a few button presses. And it also has a pretty varied number of playstyles to check out for yourself. There's also Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. If movement-wise you want a game that's more slower, Blaze Blue Central Fiction. I mean, it's got weird lore. Pretty decent controls for characters. Cross Tag. If you're a fan of Persona or Ruby, and also I did a full music mod as a project on PC and want to get as much life out of it as possible. So. There's also games like Lethal League Blaze, if you wanted Racquetball as a fighting game, and Skullgirls, if you like the 1960s aesthetic with a good fighting game alongside it. There's a lot more that I didn't name, and you can absolutely take your time to think about this and whatnot, but regardless, that's, that's just my two cents.